Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Morris here. I hope all is well. Uh, in this video, we are going to look at uh, the product rule with positive exponents. And it says univariate. That means only one variable. So we don't have an x and a y. We just have an x here. So we want to multiply negative 7 times x to the 6th times understood negative 1 x to the 6th. So how about we rewrite these and let's, uh, since we can use the commutative property and associative property for multiplication, which means we can change the order and regroup, how about we do that? So we, we know, first of all, that there's understood to be a negative, that's understood to be negative 1. So let's rewrite that as negative 7 times negative 1. And then x to the 6th times x to the 6th. Now we have a property in, uh, for exponents that says if we multiply like basis, then the simple way to do that is to add the exponents. Okay, and why is that true? Well, let's look at a quick quick example before we get back to that problem. Well, if we have x, x squared times x to the third, we know that means the x squared means x times x, right? The x to the third means x times x times x. And we know that the exponent is a shorthand way of writing multiplication, something that's being multiplied times itself. So if we write that out, expand that out, and now we count the x's, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then that's the same thing as x to the fifth. So the quick way to do that is just to add the exponents. Okay, so back to the problem now. All right, so we have negative 1 times neg or negative 7 times negative 1, which is positive 7. x to the 6th times x to the 6th, add the exponents. And it gives us x to the 12th. All right, so let's look at another problem. All right, so here we have negative 4 to the 5th, uh, negative 4 times y to the 5th times negative 1 times y to the 5th. So let's do the same thing. Let's rearrange this. Let's write our negative 4 times negative 1. Because remember, the understood negative 1 here. And then y to the 5th times y to the 5th. All right, so the negative 4 times negative 1 makes positive 4. And then the y to the fifth times y to the fifth add the exponents. 5 plus 5 is 10. So that simplifies to be 4 times y to the tenth. All righty, let's look at one more problem like this one. So we have negative, and let's, let's switch it up a little bit. Let's change this maybe to 8. The exponent is 8. So we have negative 1y to the 6th times negative 7y to the 8th. So let's rearrange it. Negative 1 times negative 7 times y to the 6th times y to the 8th. All right, so negative 1 times negative 7 is positive 7. y to the 6th times y to the 8th. Add the exponent, 6 plus 8 is 14, y to the 14th. All righty, good people. Hope you found that video to be helpful. Thank you.